Welcome in everybody to Warps, Wops, and Warhammer. Welcome back to Girls Play. My name is Maddie, and today we have text to speak 12.5. Is this gonna be the beach episode? <gasps> Are we gonna get to finally see the Emperor in a bikini? I mean, it's it's not like he's really wearing clothes um, in the chair because you know he is a skeleton. He's got a blanket to protect his privacy. But like, is this gonna be the beach episode? Is this gonna be the episode where we get to see Kitten in a speedo? Like. Actually, before Actually? I tell you more about my sons, let's do some fun shit I just came up with. I'm Final ready. Ass. Stop using your mouth to say stupid words, you giant moving pineapple. I'm sorry, I love him, but he looks like a pineapple. A little bit. A shiny pineapple. I love kitten, but I'm allergic to pineapple, but I love the scenario. Ugh. Stop using your mouth to say stupid words, you giant moving pineapple. If he's not to use his mouth to say stupid words, then what is he to use? His butthole? His stupid pineapple butthole? To talk? Think about it. Don't worry, my lord. I could just use this link to attack this mouthpiece instead so I can talk in binary. Okay, what? that's what not the butthole, but... Oh! Stop that. Oh my god, no! Why does it sound like dial-up? I'm scared! You ripped out your fucking mucranoids. Ah! Oh, oh, no dial-up. No, no, no. No, no, no. Words. We don't like it. Anyway, this is my idea. Okay. You should go and send out a message all over the galaxy, asking everyone what questions they would want answered by me if I, uh -oh. the Emperor of Mankind, uh -oh. could answer them. Then tell them to send back a question to Terra to so Terra? we can get a hold of it, read it, and laugh. <laughs> Not to find out what the people want to know, not to give the answers, not to make sure that the people out there know that the Emperor can speak again. No, just a fucking laugh. Just, just some good laughs. Got it. Oh, oh there he goes. Okay, <laughs> my lord. I'll get right to spreading the message. Yes, get to it now. Now. Do it now. This will surely be as entertaining as the time I accidentally teleported Agron up in my flagship when he was about to be killed in combat uh -huh. with his old gladiator people. Ha 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 ha. I love that laugh. <laughs> I am the Emperor. For millennia have I stood in a cross life, uh -huh. carefully watching as the seed of what is to come has risen from its earthly barrows into the starless sky. This seed. Ha <laughs> ha, he said seed. You know, when I hear the word seed, I just, uh... I wish I could say that I thought of flowers, but I don't. This seed, known as mankind, I have existed along from the time of my birth. I let the seed grow, I nurtured it, did my best to have it remain healthy and secure. Yeah? But as it kept on growing, uh -huh. I could not keep up. Oh no! I could not come with it, but could no, only ever. watch from afar as its health deteriorated and vegetation No, not its health! Weed. As I entered into the realm of the half-life, the uh -huh. only thing I could experience was despair. My work that I had driven to construct for such a long time had been obliterated in but a mere moment. I'm playing the world's tiniest violin for you. Mankind, my once pure seed, had yeah, fallen into the seed. hands of sheep, corrosive and preposterous prudence. And at no other time has this been displayed as intensely as this very moment. Because oh, no. holy fucking shit, these questions are the worst fucking shit I have ever read that ever became of mankind. Oh my fuck! I love the Emperor. I love him, love it, love it to death. So good. I always forget there's a theme song now! Death of the Sun! Let me remind you that uh -huh. you were the one who came up with this idea in the first place. That's your fault because you have informed me well enough about how incredibly, disgustingly fucking idiotic mankind has become. I mean, not all of mankind, but like, the internet, at least. I mean, 
I just thought you were a special case. Oh, now, poor baby. this makes me so sad. Uh-oh. Uh, maybe you just misread or something. Yeah, maybe his eyes are bad and he can't read well now. This couldn't have been that bad. Besides, what we supposed to make fun of them? Yeah. Here, yeah, let me read some to you. Fuck okay. It. Go ahead. Let me plow through these one more time. <laughs> he said plow. Go ahead. Let me plow through these one more so time excited. before I actually pass out and fall off this fucking chair. How? You're a skeleton. You're glued to it. All right. Let's see. This message is from one apt deny we. Deny we. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so uh, he says... Uh-huh. Uh... Yes? Uh, uh... Kitten? It already sounds painful and he hasn't even said anything! <sighs> oh, no. Why Kron loves ponies? Why does Corn love ponies? I have no mouth and I must scream. <laughs> <laughs> but why does he love ponies? Oh, <gasps> well, that one got me. Why Kron loves ponies? I have no mouth and I must scream. Alright, fuck it, next question. This one is from one Joseph Lyons. He asks, Oh, mighty god emperor of mankind, were you to send your sentience to a new body to rule once more and bring mankind back properly into the light that is your majesty? <gasps> what would you demand as the first meal? Something really tasty, I bet. Ooh, 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 ooh. I hope it's, um, ass. You get to ask one question. A question that could be uh -huh. whatever deep and philosophical and so great philosophical. that dwells inside the perplexing and winding wonders of the human mind that you could potentially come up with, and you ask about fucking food. Listen! We like food! Then again, I probably should not judge since the Imperium clearly is some kind of bureaucratic police state driven through ignorance and idiocy nowadays, so it is only natural for your regular RG world peasant to only ever think about food. Listen, maybe this question has a deeper meaning to it. Like, the answer that you have for this question could potentially make you learn so much about someone, you know? It might have deeper meaning. It's kind of like when you ask someone what, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? I feel like whatever a person answers, it could tell a lot about them. Maybe this is the same kind of thing. I don't know. As for an actual answer to that question, I'd probably go for some tacos. Fuck yeah! Okay, between ass and tacos, I'm glad tacos was at least in there, you know? Yeah. Next question is from one called, uh, Demon Primark? What kind of asshole parents name their child Demon Primark? I love it. Fucking seriously. I it's love like it. they want their child brutally lynched and burnt on a stake by the brainwashed masses. Okay. <laughs> I've got no parenting in its finest, my lord. Anyway, as for the question, Mighty Emperor, this yes, is a simple question. question I would have answered. Was there really a single guardsman uh -huh. who struck Horus during the duel above his flagship? <gasps> the legends tell Just of a lion's pious doing some deed aboard that accursed vessel that assisted with Horus's downfall tremendously. But is any of it true? He must be referring to that one regular old Imperial soldier that stepped in front of fucking horse when he was about to finish me off after he had used some dirty chaos contrivances <laughs> to punt me down on the ground. Shut the fuck For up. being a regular human, Batman had such titanic fucking balls that I want to clap my hands vigorously just thinking about it. Damn! Huge balls! I know he needs metaphorical balls, but I can't help but think about literal balls. And how uncomfortable it would be to walk if you had gigantic balls. Would they just like smack together when you moved your legs? Would they just like all the time? Would people be able to hear them from a distance? I already think having balls sounds like a nightmare, but that just sounds so much worse. So much worse. It is too bad that he was literally obliterated out of existence by horse after making that selfless act. It's also too bad that I lack the hands to applaud him with. You got hands! They're just skelly hands. Typically from that point on, an Astartes Terminator and a Custodes did the exact same thing right after to prove that they were just as cool and selfless oh. as that glorious bastard. That inglorious bastard, right? Is that what he meant to say? I mean, can't you immortal superhumans of death and destructions let the regular Joes have this one thing? Come on, man. Yeah, goddammit. 
Come on. They do need one more thing. They just need one thing. They're regular Joes. Also, I know we've talked about this in premieres, but watching this again, um, I don't know if you are a Letterkenny fan, but the Emperor is just absolutely shorzy, and I can't get over it. So you're welcome. Whoa, I thought you were going to get to that one. It's not like I was the one who told Sam Tony to throw himself in front of you with nothing but his loincloth to intimidate that Melanius guy. Oh, sexy! Anyway, next question. This one is from someone who signed himself up as the Reds will rise again. That person sounds like a ketchup enthusiast. Probably. He asks, my lord, can love bloom in a battlefield? <laughs> 32-6 asked for your Love blessing it. in his relationship with Toldia. Perhaps after you complete your webway, you will create peace among these uh -oh. two races. They're the last ones that need to fight each other. Yes, create peace and make love so bangin'. I do hope this person realizes that the Eldar look at mankind like we would look at a primate. So wait, is he saying that this relationship is bestiality? Is that where we're going with this? To them, we are unevolved beasts, thinking in very simplistic thought patterns and only using the most simple of tools. So, to put it short, this tall deer is basically an obese challenge and is a sick bug that will get all kinds of nasty interspecies as uh -oh. oh. and will most likely oh. kill half her craft world because of it. So, yes, you have my blessing. Hot! Let them do whatever they want, though. It's fine. Go ahead and have fun. Wow, my lord. Most of you probably retorted into bellowing about how absolutely downright heretical it would have been if he was given that question. It would have been very heterical. Heterical? And you know how I feel about that, now don't you? I suppose so. It's not like I'm scared to death that every time you're upset over nothing. Watch him get upset over that. Sorry, my lord. Oh, okay, hi. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, next question. This one is from someone named Brent Keller. He asks, All right, Brent. What happened to your left eye? This what is actually did? something I don't even know myself, and oh. it still fucking infuriates me. I wanna know! Now I also wanna know why! Why do I only hit this visor on one of my eyes when both yeah, of why don't you have obviously both? rotted away millennia ago? Yeah, Seriously, you're just a skull. what is its purpose? I didn't even put it here. Actually, I kind of know the answer. Kitten? Well, after we escorted you in all haste towards the Golden Throne after your battle with Horus, uh -huh. and, uh, Rogel Dawn accidentally managed to poke your eye out with his giant oh. eye halo. Oh my no, god! Oh my god! Sharp and pointy, beam Sharp and quill. pointy! <laughs> I'm going to teach that boy a fucking lesson in how to not poke people's eyes out while wearing giant sharp <laughs> arms when I get off his throne. Someone poked me in the eye one time. It was ten years ago now. I have still not forgiven them. It was not an accident, though, so be careful! I'm going to teach that boy a fucking lesson in how to not poke people's eyes out while wearing giant sharp arms when I get off his throne. Uh, you don't even have any Lord. meat, sweetie bean. Rogel Dawn is dead. That well, isn't fucking stopping me. I oh. am not even surprised. Kill him again! I'm not surprised either. Anyway, next question is from Grey Knight 31. Oh, 31 boy, in particular. The prodigies of the Silver Baby Carrier. He asks, Are you going to send Drago to rehab? Do you need help? Oh. I thought we'd already decreed that members of the Inquisition would all be rehabilitated. Awesome. Did that galaxy wide message not actually get to anyone? I bet they uh -oh. just neglect mail they consider bad, like most feedback phobic fucking snowflakes that exist in the galaxy. Oh my god, spicy! I'll have to rehash and create new means of getting the message across. One which cannot be negated by inquisitorial spam filters. See, that's all you gotta do, is just like, you see things that you don't wanna see, so you throw them away, and then BOOM! You have issues! Eh, moving on. Next up are a couple of questions sent from some warriors of the Warriors? Known as Arcona, apparently. First one is from Mark Lario. Alright. What is your favorite color? I wanna know! Fucking obvious. Second it's question, gonna Marconi, be. Oh, what? He didn't answer it! He just said, isn't it obvious? What? I'm mad about the favorite color question. I'm gonna hold this against them forever. Second question from Marconi is from Vida Ra. He asks, uh, what do you think of Miguel Carroll? I approve of him and his team, and he should continue to do what he is doing, okay. because he's doing an excellent job. Awesome! Uh, I'm sorry, my lord, I think I'm out of the loop. Yeah, Who's the I don't know. This is fourth degree war prone fuckery. None of your concern. I also don't know who that is. 
sports? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Ah, okay, great. Next question is from a chaplain known as Valerius. A chaplain, you say? Good. I assign chaplains to hold marines in line okay. and be as staunch and serious about their duties as possible. Staunch. I have high expectations for this question. You probably should. Yes. Why can't we all just be friends and stop fighting? Sounds like me. How could this happen to me? How could this happen to me? How could this happen to me? <laughs> I made my mistakes. Got no where to run. The and night goes, goes on, on as I'm fading away. away. I'm sick, sick of, this, of life. this life. I just, I just lost dream. dream. This is the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm sick of this life. Oh I my just god. Hex scream! How did this happen to me? Incredible. Are we done? Wow! It goes with the emo vibes, y'all! Next question is... That's it? Just... Dear Emperor, <gasps> can you still... Do you poop? I fucking hate this appearance. The kitten's had enough. He's like, I'm out. This is bullshit. Can you still... He don't have a tummy! He's tummyless! I'm a skeleton, so write about as much as you use your brain, you fucking half wit. Next question. Fair! Dear Emperor, where will the universe leave the year 999 with Area 41? At the end of the year, just like every fucking year. <laughs> Next. Dear good, Emperor, good. how are you fat? While oh. thinking pleasant thoughts about your inevitable demise. Oh! Love it! Next. Dear good Emperor, one. what is the most fascinating thing you've ever seen? Probably the intricate denseness of this fucking question. Alright, good. Emperor, have you ever gotten laid? Back when he had a penis, probably. Have you ever gotten laid? Have you? More times than the entire fucking population of your planet, you rattling penetrator. Suck it! You rattling penetrator. Love it. At least he's, he's, he's getting it. The Emperor fucks. Next. Dear Emperor, was it fatherly love that stopped you from striking down Horus, or did you have sexually confused feelings for him? Excuse me? Oh, I don't like that one. Keep keep the incest out of here. Take it and put it in your pants and leave. I am deeply disgusted by you, and I hope you explode. In fact... Oh, um, he exploded. Okay, next. They got him. Uh, that, oh, um, my <laughs> lord, it's starting to sound like you're actually answering these questions now. <gasps> Instead of making I fun mean, of them? No one's listening in, right? No, but in case someone is, I hope they feel fucking awful right about now. Uh, of course, no, nobody could be listening. It's this Imperial Palace. Let me go again here. I'm not listening. I am fine. Definitely not. Tons of people watching these videos. Ah ha ha. I hope you all feel bad about the questions you've asked. Except I also wanted to know some of them, but not all of them, but some of them. Okay, well, moving on then. Alright, a uh, slightly better question, I think. This one is from uh, Lord Commissar Wolf, who says, Lord Wolf? Oh, glorious Emperor, please share thy wisdom with your most wisdom. loyal servants. Is there such a thing as an Athdaka? <laughs> While I abhor the Xenos term, everyone seems to be talking about and about how there will never be enough of it. What say you, Emperor? At the point in time when bullets can pass through the interdimensional walls, when firepower takes up the entirety and eternity of space and time, all being stuck in a never-ending life and death cycle as bullets recover and destroy their bodies in quick succession. This is not where I expected this answer, but this is so rambling. I love it. My god, we're only halfway through, I think, and my brain is already spinning! The bullets rapidly flying literally everywhere in the materium, turning the warp itself into nothing but a sea of semi-automatic weapons. Uh-huh. Okay. Then there will be enough DECA. Okay. at least almost... What is DECA right now? The orc word for rapid firepower and multi-laser <laughs> masturbation. I didn't want to know that. Rapid fire... Masturbation... Makes sense. I honestly didn't know that. I kind of caught on with the, how they were answering the question. Didn't know about the masturbation thing. Good to know! Next question is from pretty much everyone. <gasps> Seriously, there is a giant mountain of messages dedicated to just this one question. What is it gonna be? And it kind of disturbs me that so many have uh -huh. made it. Dear Emperor. Oh my god, that's a lot of people. What is your opinion on the Tau? Never heard of them. I think it's not. Oh, great. So what are they? Uh, uh -oh. Well, there's some minuscule Xenos race located on the eastern fringe of the galaxy. 
They're even letting a threat to us from the Dark Eldar, so it's not really worth talking about. Why would well, so many people sending messages about a minuscule Xeno race located on the eastern fringe of the galaxy, but they aren't even a threat? I've heard it's well. because despite being a small species, the Tau males are really overcompensating with their high-tech weaponry, and the Tau females have a tendency to lust for greater goods. Uh -oh. I'm sorry, what- I've heard it's uh -oh. because despite being such a small species, they have uh -oh. the most rapidly advancing technology in the galaxy, which also means they have really, really big scary guns. We live for really big, scary guns. Which also means they have really, really big, scary guns. I love this discussion. But you slap one and it'll fall over really quickly. That's what I thought, I think. I think. We'll talk more about this later. Still got more stupid questions to answer. It's a confusing thing. It's like we're here and we're there and where are we in between? Don't know, not sure. Uh, yes, indeed. Like this one from Suki... Suika Ibuki. Probably from one of those fucking tower planets. I love hearing him butcher people's names. Since your body can no longer function properly, how about mounting the golden throne inside the dreadnought for a titan so you can kick ass again? That's a good Don't question. Don't you think that if I actually had that choice, I would have made it oh, already? Oh, right. I think you're not taking into account that the entirety of Terra will be swallowed by a giant warpret and everyone will <laughs> fucking right. die if either I or the Golden Throne would be this place. Right. That makes it not worth it, but only barely. But only barely. Just a little bit, just a tiny little bit. Now, next up is a question from someone who entitles himself as the Fresh Sorcerer. What uh -huh. a fucking nerd. He says... <laughs> Hey, Shitboot. Oh. Want me and my brother to read you terrible, shitty fanfics like the depraved, erogenous bedtime story to you and your centurion? It's kind of always been a dream of his. Okay. This is the year I promise to be nice to him. Actually, all right. Fuck it. I'm a <gasps> motherfucking yeah. brute. Send out some Terran escorts <gasps> to wherever the fuck those guys are and yeah. pick them up so they can be converted into yes. my personal bedtime story readers. Yay. But they are so insistent on doing it. Fan fiction, yay! While we're at it, I would also like a bedtime reader. Did Bells write that question? Did Bell send that fan mail? I'm feeling like she might have. If, if so, baby, I'm glad you shot your shot because it sounds like he's into it. Um, I'm just saying, make sure it's filthy. Make sure it's depraved. Make sure it's disgusting. We're counting on you. My centurion hasn't been able to sleep that well for the last couple of days anyway. I feel this is a perfect opportunity to continue my plans with the reformation of the Imperium by making some people actually become useful. That sounds like an excellent idea, my lord. I'll prepare the shackles when we're done. Ooh, hot. <laughs> hot, they're gonna lock him up. I'll prepare the shackles when we're done. Now, next up is a question from someone called Bob oh. White. He asks where his fire support is. Up his fucking nostrils. And if it's not there, look up your ass. He asks where his fire support is. Up his fucking nostrils. <laughs> Next. Oh, Fuck that right. uh, This one is from someone apparently known as Johan Gasmask. That's an he interesting asks, name. Seeing as science clearly dictates that diversity is the most efficient way for life to exist, why are you trying to exterminate all other life except humanity? You know, I wondered that one a lot also. It's like, what's going on there? That's a little sus. I am not trying to exterminate all other life, but rather keep it under some form of control. Duh. Xenos are often vile and untrustworthy, Duh. as they are out to maximize their own idea of peace and happiness uh, in the galaxy for their own separate species in their own individual that. ways. The human idea of peace and happiness is to have the galaxy taken over so life can thrive without wars, poverty, nor petty hatred, all living in a bright and tranquil future as was mankind's birthright. Manifest Destiny shit. Compare that to the Eldar who want to take over, so they can engage in fuckloads of raw, unfiltered, hedonistic super orgies again without getting into trouble. Wow! Or the Micrans who want to take over for the purpose of sucking the souls out of all living things and going back to sleep again. Take it back, Terry. That last one's me. Or the orcs who just want to fight forever and make nothing of their lives. I guess. Uh, and let's not even get into those fucking tyrannids who just guess. want to eat the whole galaxy and then move on to the next. I just let you know, my lord, the tower kind of in that same category. I would be okay with Xeno races living in harmony with us if they didn't have such fucked up goals in mind for our galaxy. I guess. Plus, without Xeno life exterminated or under regulation. This is not an efficient way for human lives to exist, as it will only get stabbed, sliced, chopped, and numbed to death. Ooh, I love it when things make sense. You know, I've always been like, it's kind of fucked up that you just want to kill everybody else, but when you put it that way, yeah, I don't think there's gonna be harmony. But if everybody could just do their thing and live separately, then I think maybe it could work. 
I'm just saying. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Bam, bam, bam. Anyway, next we have Luna Templar. Dear Emperor, besides swiftly unfucking the current state of the Imperium. Love, love the phrase unfucking. It's my favorite. Dear Emperor, besides swiftly unfucking the unfucking? current state of the Imperium, that. which I think it would be a given, what's the first thing you would do where you would suddenly be restored to your former glory and rise to the golden throne? Well, I have a pretty big to-do list, but as a start, I would do these things yes. in this exact order. First, scratch my everything. Me fucking too. Scratch my everything. First, scratch my yep. everything. Second, roll around on the floor and spasm violently. Okay. Third, take a that shower. That would be nice. Fourth, punch everyone in the face. Boy, and howdy. fifth, tell everyone to never ever ask stupid fucking questions again. That is exactly how I felt when I finally was feeling normal after getting sick recently. That was my exact checklist of things to do. Get out of bed and be like, oh, yeah, no, blah, blah, blah. and then you just like flop around and you're like, blah, 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 blah. and then you feel better and then you're like, fuck off, everybody, and then you're normal again, you know? Have you ever been that kind of sick? I imagine that's how the Emperor feels all the time, except it's like been thousands and thousands of years to the point that his like skin is all rotted away, whereas mine was just like four days. So if I felt that, like that after four days, I can only imagine. Millennia? Ugh. All right, next question. <laughs> this will be the last one. Okay. I need to take a break and let my agony stabilize for oh, a moment. Oh, baby. Moment. That's fair enough, my lord. It's been too much? Even I feel dirty after oh, this. no. Ugh. Shower time. Anyway, this last one is from someone called Magmos. Magmos? Dear That's almighty funny. god emperor of mankind, if you want the people to stop believing you're a god, why the heck did you run about with all that golden armor, wheel of fiery uh -huh. sword, emit a glow pretty much all the time, and yeah. have other things of that nature? Seriously, you did look man, like an angel. Mix, you have to admit. Look, That's... just because I want to wear orange gold armor, wield a fiery sword, emit a glow pretty much all the time, mm -hmm. and other things of that nature doesn't mean I want to be looked upon as a god. What he's saying is that he's just a fancy bitch. And you gotta let him be a fancy bitch. You gotta let him, what can I say? It's okay to be a fancy bitch, he bougie. I'm not the one who needs to be taught not to dress sure like Jan. a god. You're the ones who need to be fucking taught that considering people to be gods dependent on how they look is wrong. Ooh, that Oof. does Besides, make a good point my though. my head designer thought all the flashy golden bits really brought out the color of my eyes. Aww, such like beautiful it. eyes. Being dressed up in golden armor without anyone having to look up to me like a god. Yes, people have got some serious beef with a new man. The calling new us man. gods and shit. How dare. Even though I am the only one who has the real rights to that claim. Hmm. Additionally, mm -hmm. I'm happy that you at least enjoy the privilege of wearing your fucking armor. You and me both. You do uh, look, ooh, well-oiled uh, abs. Well, <laughs> I guess that wraps up this fun little event then. Yes. Perhaps we will read through some more questions at some other point if I'm oh feeling gosh. incredibly masochistic. Yay, now, more half I'm episodes. Could you possibly tell me the good aspects about the sun sound? You were just about to get onto that. Ah, uh, yes, let me think. You bitch. I was like, they're gonna end this video right there, aren't they? That was a lot to take in. That was a lot. That was a lot, a lot. That was so much. <laughs> that was so good. I understand why it's 12.5 now. This makes sense. I also want to know if these were questions that people who watch this video, like watch these the series put in and just put like their code names and whatnot because it's a fucking amazing idea. So many good questions were answered. Like the poop and the fab. You know, that's gonna keep it classy. Episodes of Texas Beach are always about poop, truly. This was a nice little refreshing break um, from just the whiplash of big storytelling, you know what I mean? I, it was really fun to just have a video that was a little bit more like fun and funny. I hope there's a couple more of these sprinkled around. And I still want my beach episode, duh! So uh, join the Discord and submit any pictures you have drawn of the Emperor in a bikini to the Warhammer channel. Please make sure to like these videos because it helps us out a lot and we appreciate it a lot. Thank you guys for watching and we will catch you in the next one. Am I the emperor? I don't think I'm the emperor, but I may be the emperor. I might have urban dictionaried. Warhammer, are you ready? Warhammer. High-end miniatures, war gaming.
extremely high prices for the fact that they aren't even made of pewter anymore. I should probably stop there. You can Urban Dictionary the rest of that if you want to and read it. I'm sure some of you already have. That's okay. You can hurt your feelings on your own. I would like to share a secret with you. You see this? You got like one nice shoulder going on. You're like, oh my god. That's because this shoulder's fucked. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh my god. Yeah, so that's my secret. A one-off t-shirt because um, I'm hurting. I'm fucking hurting. Uh, welcome to Oregon where the girls are pale and uh, the sun burns them real bad. I gotta remember what the fuck happened on Texas text is talk to text. Talk to text speech. Text is supposed to be. I don't yeah. Maybe. Ow, god damn it. I do really, I do really hate that I recorded a video like this. I'm not gonna lie. This exists on the internet now for the world to look back at and be like, what the fuck is this fucking shit, Maddie? What's going on? What's going on here? You playing a little dress up? Yeah, it's fun to pretend, isn't it? <laughs> Man, my hair sucks. It looks kind of nice today, but it is fucked up. Can't wait to cut all of it off. Okay, not all of it. Just like half of it. Just like this much of it. That's not even half. That's like six inches. Anyway, <laughs> if you think, and if you think cutting off six inches of hair is a lot, then I have something to talk to you about.